Savannah Lee Richardson joining us from Bulldog Illustrated to break down the Rose Bowl, Georgia and Oklahoma looking to get to the national championship game against the winner of Alabama and Clemson. If we flip to the other side of the ball, uh, most of the best defensive teams in the country during this playoff and going back to the BCS championship game, those are the teams that get there. Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, now Georgia, et cetera, et cetera. The best defensive teams, if you look at the metrics, Oklahoma's the exception. They're the Oregon of a few years ago where the defense is okay. It's it's decent. It's, it's not great. It's You're not going to find it in the top five to ten metrics of any of the stats. You're going to see them in the 50, 55 range. Uh, they did play well against Ohio State. I don't know if the Buckeyes were really clicking at that point. That's the best comparison I could make. Oklahoma State tore them to shreds, 52 points. Um, if you go back last season with similar personnel, they played Auburn in the Sugar Bowl. It was a close game for about three quarters, and then Auburn just didn't have the offense to catch up. But uh, And Auburn didn't have the passing game. Of course, they didn't have Jarrett Stidham then to counter – uh, and Oklahoma could just sell out on the run. So I'm, I'm going to think that the Sooners are going to take a similar approach and say, we have to stop this running game. Jake Fromm, try to beat us. We need to, you need to prove to us before we start backing out of the box that you can beat us with play action passes. I agree. Defense wins championships, but championships are also won in the trenches. And Georgia's offensive line has not gotten the credit that they deserve. This, this season against the, in the SEC championship, they got the push, and that's what opened up the run game, which didn't the first time that they played Auburn. So I think that Georgia's offensive line versus Oklahoma's D-line is going to be a great matchup because I, if Georgia can get that push, it won't matter how much – how I mean, they're going to open up a hole for Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle or De, DeAndre Swift. However, we, Georgia has De, Javon Wims, another mismatch, 6'4", six, 6'5". I just throw it up there to him. I mean, we've seen a couple times this season how Jake Fromm has thrown the ball to him. And then first touchdown play, first touchdown of the SEC championship going to his tight end. Georgia has plenty of, of receiving weapons. It's just they haven't had to really use them because they can win games on the ground. That's the plan. That's a ground and pound, ground and pound game <laughs> for – Georgia, and I think that's what they're going to go into this ball game. They're going to run their plays like they're supposed to, and it's going to come down to time of possession. If Georgia can keep the ball and have long drives, then that's that's how they're they're going to win. They got to score on these long drives, but they have to win the the time of possession battle. If they win the time of possession battle, Georgia will, I, Georgia will win the game. I mean, Jake Fromm, they like the other day, Terry Godwin, Javon Wims, and a couple other guys were just like, we don't see him as a freshman anymore. We didn't see him as a freshman after the Notre Dame game. He's proved to us that he can come in, keep his composure, and he knows how to win a big ball game. And this is just the next level of big ball game. So it's going to be interesting to see how the true freshman um, handles handles it because he has not disappointed yet. So it's going to come down to that, I think. Yeah, he's got 13 games or 11 and a half, something in that range under his belt. And as you mentioned, going to Notre Dame, that's a great test uh, toward achieving this goal, playing in an SEC championship game, playing at Auburn and learning uh, how to play better against that defense just a few weeks later. That's, that was a great challenge for him to overcome and show us that he could learn and play better against the same defense just a few weeks later. And even though Florida, Tennessee, those teams are down, he had to play in hostile environments uh, around the SEC as well. And, and I, think, I, I think there are so many factors in a really good football game with two excellent uh, opponents going at it that I hate to say Jake Fromm's the key. He's one of the big keys in this yeah. game. Certainly, uh, if Georgia has their way, they're going to be able to run it down their throats and then hit him with play action pass, and he's going to throw about 18, 18 to 22 passes. That would be the formula. Baker Mayfield is going to throw 40 times because that's what they need to do. Uh, but Jake Fromm is going to have to be an efficient. Uh, he, it's going. It means don't turn the ball over, and it means hit some big plays, hit some some key third and eights, third and threes, make that decent throw to the tight end that you need to make and then maybe hit about three to four plays during the game that are big that 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 change the field position that that turn into a long touchdown or a a, a, a scoring drive a 57 yard play that gets you inside the red zone uh, he's gonna have to hit a few of those uh, to make it work and then again eliminate no no bad mistakes or very few it's, it's difficult to say play perfect but uh, limit the bad mistakes no pick sixes no 
bad turnovers, uh, strip sacks, that sort of thing uh, can't happen against uh, this Oklahoma team that's probably going to put up some points. But again, I think they're playing a Georgia defense that's going to be right there with Ohio State, but playing a little bit better, most likely the best defense in the country uh, that Oklahoma is going to face this year. So I'm excited for this game. For as much as I want to see Alabama Clemson, we've seen it twice. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the players are different, I know. No Deshaun Watson in particular, but still, I've seen those uniforms against each other in the national playoff two straight years, now three. Oklahoma, Georgia, it's just going to be interesting to see two different teams that play in different conferences meet that we haven't seen before that play very different styles of football. Go at it. Kirby Smart, Lincoln Riley. Um, very, very interesting situation there. All right, uh, Savannah Lee Richardson, Bulldog Illustrated, talking up the Georgia Bulldogs, coming off a huge early National Signing Day, headed to the Rose Bowl to take on Oklahoma. It's an exciting time to be a Bulldog fan. I know, uh, Savannah, you bleed the uh, red and black and always have, but in your wildest dreams, you couldn't have imagined. I'm sure uh, you take pride in the football program that's been really good, but now being at this point, with these kind of recruiting classes and playing as an SEC champion in a playoff game, uh, you got to pinch yourself once in a while, I guess. I think I pinch myself daily. When Georgia went like seven and zero, I was just like, "Is this? When is it get, like? When is the downfall going to actually happen?" Uh, it's just kind of capitalizing on my senior year. I graduate in May, so the fact that I've gotten to um, experience this journey. And experience such a historic season. My last football season with Bulldog Illustrated, it's just really topped it all off. Um, like you said, I bleed red and black. I'm so excited to see Georgia on this this stage because I've been it's just I've been hungry since 2012 when Georgia was like six or seven yards away from going to play Notre Dame in a national championship. <laughs> and so the fact that Georgia is literally one game away, one opponent away from something that hasn't happened in I think in 37 years it's it's surreal it's surreal from the entire bulldog nation and after we won the sec championship game something that georgia hasn't done since 2005 i mean i remember the sec championship game from 2005 and but nothing could compare to the win against auburn in the sec redemption and and stuff like that i just think that it's just it's surreal. I never thought that Georgia would be where they are in year two of Kirby Smart's era. And it's only going up from there. I'm excited to see what happens against a very good Oklahoma team. It's going to, I mean, it's going to be an explosive game. It's going to be a physical game. And I think that's what Georgia football loves to do is play in those kinds of games. But like you said, yep, I'm a surreal. I'm not going to Pasadena. I'm waiting out and hoping for the national championship to get tickets to go to Atlanta, but I will be watching from home and, and cheering on my dogs. So. All right, Savannah, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Uh, if I don't talk to you before that, uh, Merry Christmas. Have a great holiday. Yep, Merry Christmas to you.